You're listening to Edging the Truth. Welcome to another episode of Edging the Truth podcast. I'm here today with Brian, Andy, and One Lung once again. We are delving into a topic that uh, we, we, we feel like might be our first unanimous agreement. Hopefully this is a fun one. We've had a couple of heavies with some, uh, some major historical figures. Uh, our topic today is the conspiracy theory that there are shape-shifting lizard people walking among us and potentially at the root of the Illuminati, of some other crazy organization that is running world decisions. Who knows what these lizard people uh, are doing? Uh, I'm going to start by just giving a quick kind of history of this, uh, the bullet points of, of, of this conspiracy theory, because it is <coughs> quite silly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The most fascinating thing that I found in researching this, and, and, and I stumbled on this conspiracy theory myself. I did not know about this until a few weeks ago, uh, is that 7% of people potentially believe this to be true. Uh, I think the, the actual poll was 4% in, 19, in, in 2013, and this has actually gained a lot of traction in the last decade. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about why that as well. But let's say 4%. Uh, you listeners, if you, have, if you have kids, that means that the parents of at least one kid in your kid's class believe this to be true. At least one. Maybe, maybe, maybe more sets of parents but at least yeah, one depending on how big you're how poorly yeah yeah we're, we're saying if there's a yeah, class that's exactly right yeah, yeah. probably my ex-wife <laughs> <What's the team laughs> my wife ratio. so uh, th this conspiracy theory has has certainly been around for a long time like a lot of conspiracy theories it has some some very tangible roots in fiction uh the gentleman uh, who created one of our favorite uh characters in uh in in mythology if you will uh, Robert E. Howard, who created Conan the Barbarian, among others, wrote about this conspiracy theory, not as a conspiracy theory, but as a work of fiction uh, in 1929. So uh, almost 100 years ago, this idea has been around. Now, his idea was that these people maybe had something to do with the, the lost continent of Atlantis uh, or something to that effect. But certainly the idea that there were sh some sort of shape-shifting lizard humanoid people uh, on this planet uh, were perpetuated by him for sure. Now, this sort of leads into another kind of uh, uh, literary work in the 1940s that sort of perpetuates it uh, called the, the Emerald Tablets. And, and it kind of is, is a poem that's supposed to be based on this work by an Atlantis, Atlantean king. And what's even crazier is that that becomes the basis for the modern day version of this which is promoted by this guy, David Icke, uh, a, a British gentleman who, among other things, said he was the son of God in the 1990s. So, <laughs> now, this conspiracy theory uh, links in, in in more recent years with the idea that these lizard people, whether they're from another planet or whatever the origin is, uh, is that they're connected into these these crazy conspiracy theories about uh, <coughs> uh, behind the scenes secret society secret family networks whether it's the merovingian dynasty or the rothschilds or the british royals or our own president for that matter um this is definitely something that gets uh that could get into political talk but we'll try to avoid <laughs> but uh the whole idea of the illuminati in and of itself in modern day times came from a couple of writers who decided to pull a prank and start sending letters to magazines saying the Illuminati is to blame for this. The Illuminati is to blame for that. And one of those two guys went on to write arguably the greatest work of fiction about the Illuminati, um, the Illuminatus trilogy written by Robert Anton Wilson, um, who is one of these two guys that wrote all these silly prank letters about the Illuminati. So everything that we're talking about here today is based in fiction. And, and to take that even one step further, I have one of my favorite uh, visual aids for this podcast ever. When I was growing up, there was a television show, a uh, miniseries uh, that 
I think had two iterations at the very least, and then maybe a regular series, and then got brought <laughs> back a few years ago. Are you talking Land of the Lost right now? Is oh no, even but at all, Land of the Lost. No? That, that's a whole other story. We could we could, we could I, totally I mean, talk about that. The only stack is no, no, no. Dead stack, is what I'm, I'm trying to tell about, you. But. I'm, I'm talking about V, which was the idea, the exact idea that there were aliens walking among us, mm -hmm. and that underneath their wonderful humanoid-looking skin, they looked like this. Yeah. Now, I love this TV show. Dave but Mason I never did. took it as anything other than science fiction. <laughs> and what blew my mind when I first stumbled on this in one of the first articles that I read, again, to reiterate, one in 25 people believe this is real, folks. If you're one of those one in 25 people, please call our voicemail line which you can see it below 917-979-6071 yes, I, I want to just just make your case we, we would just make love, your case to us please love 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 to hear from you please i'm being 100 percent serious right now i want you to convince me of lizard people okay mm -hmm. that please call the number down or below whatever you are smoking on because apparently my shit ain't strong enough 12 there's 12 million of you out no, there we're not, so, we're like, not we doing this to make fun of you we're doing this for scientific purposes mm -hmm. i'm a little bit making fun of you but we I make fun at you but not like, at you like that yeah, just watch the podcast a little bit i can be convinced of things okay yes, yes. yes. convince yes. us we are all gonna be yeah. very jokey but i may be like all right for real dude <laughs> sorry go ahead well let's yeah let's start with you then fudge because i feel like you know as we talked a little bit before we started recording we all kind of felt like is there any way that any one of the other uh, rest of the dudes here is going to believe this? And I think we were all in agreement that no, is, is, as, 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 as much as we have disagreed, this is very likely to be one that we agree on completely. So since you were our hot take uh, in disagreement take. last week, uh, last episode there, Mr. Fudge, why are you going to give us a hot take this week? Or are you all, uh, are you 100% convinced this is a crock oh, of uh, no, horse I'm puppy? On, I'm in on this now, boys. I'll play the heel. No, I'm just kidding. I think this is the first one that I have that we've done where I'm like fully like, okay, I don't, I don't know, but I think the more we talk about this, the more I'm gonna fucking be drunk and stoned and talk myself into believing in it. So just wait till the end of the episode, I guess. But so if if really think about my thoughts here, I mean, I don't believe there are lizard people fucking running the government. This I, I'm doing. I'm in the middle of a. Uh, about a month-long Marvel movie timeline order um, <laughs> marathon at the moment, and uh -huh, uh -huh. it's what is it the the Kree that somebody fights or shapeshifters and like can do exactly this. So this is the this scrolls. Is where, this yeah, it's so this Marvel is, shit, yo. Yeah, Marvel this is shit. where my that's a, immediately where my mind went. Um, that episode of uh, Inside Job. Uh, where it's lizard people, which happens to be the first episode that our friend Ron Funches appears in, uh, in the series was, was, was good as well. The idea, I guess I get it. I think the, there's part of it that I could believe, but the part that it's, we're being run by like the Illuminati and shit like that. I could believe in that for sure. Are they all lizard people from space? Ah, I don't know. And we're just supposed to believe this fucking washed up soccer player from the seventies that figured out he couldn't fucking play soccer anymore so he decided to do what all washed up athletes do for the most part and start talking into a microphone about it and then that just turned into oh i'm a little famous let me start saying some crazy shit and then he goes to a bookstore and hears a voice that leads him to the section about psychic shit and he goes and sees the psychic uh and she she tells him that he is a dis like a guy or descendant of these gods and he's supposed to you know spread the word or all this bullshit and he takes like everything she says to heart and he starts spewing all this stuff what was his name is it david ek david ike yeah david ike. ike david ike so yeah he's a fucking crazy person but <laughs> that i gotta say the the turquoise suit like i i did kind of like the turquoise jumpsuit it was, it was a little fire um but there's just a lot of things here it's like i he he accuses 
all these prominent like uh world leaders and fucking like movie stars and like hollywood elites of all being these lizard people uh he he believes that uh that the babylonian brotherhood is ruling earth and they're being controlled by the anunnaki which is the mm -hmm. race of aliens uh that he believes come down and are shapeshifters and so I, Short answer, I don't believe in this. Long answer, if we talk about this long enough, I'm sure I could find something that I could be like, ah. that you could latch on to. Yeah. But <laughs> Illuminati, we're, I'm sure we'll do an episode on them. I do believe there are higher forces here that are that are calling some shots and pulling some strings. Do I believe that they're shape-shifting lizards? No, I do not. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a trick. Uh, it's it, it, it's tricky to put it all together. And I think that's what also fascinated me about this is that it, it's sort of the intersection of a bunch of different conspiracy theories. So one, you know, aliens, we've done an episode about aliens and th yeah, th this is, this is, that was, that was part of my conundrum here. It's like, well, I definitely think there's something out there. It's like, fuck, who's to say it's not a fucking shape shifting lizard now. <laughs> um, I, and like, they were saying like, if you, you know, analyze the movements of like these politicians are on hours and hours and hours of, you know, them speaking or whatever. And sometimes you analyze them and they do some like fucking lizardy shit. And then it's this. I'm doing like, it right now because my lips are dry from smoking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on. But Brian's just high and he might think he's a lizard because of his weed, but he actually. I is. did smoke that moon rock. So yeah. I mean, dude, I just don't know. Like, I think this really is the first one that. I'm really, really going to have to be convinced that there's something here. Well, what about you, Brian? Are you on the same page as Fudge? Man, like, I realized something today, like, when I was doing a lot of the stuff, that, like, almost all of these, like, conspiracy theories that are, like, really got big, where people actually believe them, all really happened in the last, like, 20 years. And it's just because of all of the goddamn content you can consume now. I mean, it's like... You read comic books. Marvel, they've been fighting lizard people since the 50s. You know what I'm saying? Like, Marvel's always, that's always been a thing as lizard people. Like, it's in the pop culture so much so that people just believe that shit exists. I saw a lizard person at Comic Con. It was, you know, it was like, whatever. People just, they are just convinced of that stuff. And like, but it's all in recent thing because you just absorb, you know, you watch the movies, the shows, all this stuff. I mean, like I said, I've met some stupids in my life, and I would believe that them, some of them would, believe, you know, would definitely believe in lizard people. Like I, I think some words were said to that effect. I, it's definitely some stupid I've known that said that I believe in lizard people. May have been a comma and then run the government after that too. He may have been the whole thing, but I just, you know, I was moving it along after talking to that guy. So, <clears throat> but. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's just, it really just goes back to even where Red started that this whole notion of lizard people is like a hundred years old. And like, it all goes back to like basically Jules Verne, like all his original stuff that, you know, during the center of all those different kind of things at that time, those books that were written were fantasizing all of these kind of things. And that's kind of where the lizard people kind of came from was that fiction stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's just like even like we, even when you alluded to on the Illuminati thing with that other guy's book and stuff, it's like yeah. I mean, in the end, the books the they got famous and these concepts got famous because then they're in they're trying to sell books. That's what everything we've talked about with all of these documentary stuff. Everybody's just trying to sell books, so they fantasize this stuff, and people believe like people believe the 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 you know Star Wars is real. That there's there's definitely statistics on that where people believe Star Wars is real. Wars. I don't know about and you. there's and there's. But I mean, it's just those kind of things where there's a lot of shit that people believe is real. And like, I just think that it's so easy for people to latch on to this, that they could be some weird lizard people running the government. Hey, ho, hey. But it all kind of just goes back to that sensationalized where people have just been, I don't know, fantasizing about it for so long. That's just become part of our culture that people just think like, oh, yeah, of course, there's those people. Oh, yeah. Mole people got that, too. Because, you know, that's another thing you see on all kind of pop culture and all that stuff. It's just those things people like, oh, I'm sure there's people that believe there's more people. As I guess we should do an episode on that. It'll take five minutes. I mean, that's, all right, that's do you want to get in there? Uh, uh, and I thought this would be the one that would be really funny if you were like all in on Brian after like how if I was like it's yeah, like you like, don't even know about these lizard people. I was really like, you guys don't even George know George the things I've like, seen with these yeah. eyes. <laughs> like no, no. 
And like, I mean, it's like even that whole V thing and like that Rowdy Roddy Piper movie was the same thing with those late lizard they people live. as well. So many, um, like, so many. Uh, I just watched Buckaroo Banzai the other day. That was like lizard people basically from another dimension, but still lizard people. Uh, like, but like, I love that movie. Oh, and, and for and for Red, like I always, right by our school was the parking lot that had all those V vehicles that they used after the show. I drove by those dirty, rotting vehicles for years, and I was like, yeah. oh, there's those V vehicles. That's a very L.A. thing to say. And, uh, yeah, I think that's, like I said, it's, I, lizard people, meh. Like, nah. I, alien lizard people, possibility. I don't want to question other people's race choices when it comes to space flight. But come on land here, people that are hiding behind the whole lizard Illuminati thing, you know, outside visitors, yes. The fact that they could come out and take control and do all this stuff without nobody else realizing they're lizard people, aliens running it, not happening. Not happening. Yeah. Yeah. So I've okay. So do we. Matt. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I. Yeah. I, no, I kind of. No I expected people, all from <laughs> books, all sensationalized and idolized for so many years that people believe it's a thing, just like that Thanos is a real person that killed us all. <laughs> so, Wen <laughs> Lung, are are you uh, are you ponying up some money to see David Ike next time he comes and does a speaking engagement in your neck of the woods? Mm-mm, no, I'm not. <laughs> uh, here's the thing. Our pack, our podcast is called Edging the Truth. I feel like this is over the edge of the truth. That we've got, <laughs> we've gotten the full truth. That that we've, this, we've, like that? we've climaxed the truth finally. <laughs> finally what was that climaxed fun? the truth. Did you write that line? Like, <laughs> how, how? I mean, it has been about like fifteen minutes of you not saying anything. Did you? Were you thinking about this? Well, I didn't <laughs> want. I didn't want to interrupt anybody. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm really glad you didn't interrupt one lung. And it's I always the quiet one. Me. Thank you. And if I could uh, hand this to you, I would, buddy. For, for oh, I wish I had brought one. I found uh. one more in my freezer. <laughs> but this one is like a double shot, so I doubt Good old, good old freezer to... liquor, huh? Man. Freezer. Just random but, freezer no, liquor. no I, I, didn't, I didn't write that one. I was just thinking, like, this is just so out of the realm of my possibility of comprehension. Like, I like Brian said, like, whether there's alien people out in the universe somewhere... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to say that there isn't, but to be here on Earth ruling and being like the Illuminati here on Earth, for, for hundreds I don't of years. really see it. I mean, like, yeah. where do they lay their eggs? I mean, honestly, like, it just, I don't I don't see it. Um, I also that think that there would be folks. some type of medical proof somewhere about these people. I mean, like, these Grammy Award winning people and these, these political, you know, elitists, they've been assassinated and whatnot, like, there would have been some sort of some sort of proof somewhere oh, that no, would lead us to believe this. And right. what was that? Like there would have to be if someone they've died, like they would do opto- autopsies and shit on their body. Yeah, exactly. Like there'd be X-rays. shit and bones. Shit and bones, yeah, yo. Like, we got like, shit and bones. Say, like, I don't know how shapeshifters work, because I'm not one, but like if you die in your one form, do you go back yeah. to your OG form? That, like, that was my next thing. It's like you're not when you, when you get it? murdered. As as one of these people that are shapeshifters, they go back to their original form. Yeah, I've never seen that happen. At a car never accident, heard of it you tell me you would never. They, all statistically speaking, lizard people have to get in car accidents if they're here. I mean, it just happens. But also, so, I mean, you know, you know, Red, you mentioned something earlier, and I, I, I think Fudge tried to say it, but I, I thought the same thing at the time, and it was this: if we're in a classroom of students, and you're like, someone's student's parent believes in this, right? Out of that many people, how many of our students' teachers believe this? Like, oh, there's probably some teachers out there that are maybe teaching our kids school. this. Like, I would say one per school. Well, if you if go by it's, that it's, it's, yeah, if it's, it's the same math. And if, it's, and if it goes as deep, this is another point I just thought of one long when you were talking about how we wouldn't see any remains. My one thought is, if it goes as deep as they are in the White House and they're in Congress and they're running the country, if one of them died, I... I think they just snap a finger and yeah, and, but it also believes that it's like no. Grammy award winning artists and like not all those people have like yeah that Being much lizard I people mean, in wars. There's you know there's the amount of people that would sustain to keep a lizard population going for hundreds of years. It's yeah. like don't vampires. Get me started about like, really? sex. Don't get me started about lizard sex. You. I'm just trying. I'm I'm playing devil's a- devil's advocate, if you will. But that would be the only the only explanation. 
there. But yeah, right. It's, this goes back to the Bigfoot episode. Show us some bones. Show us some poop. Like, mm -hmm. if this has been a thing for a hundred years, like you'd like to think one would have been found. You know, we claim to have found aliens. One got shot in Compton. Or, you know, just died. Yeah. <laughs> or, or if there's such a big deal, and they're these brilliant race, why haven't they taken over at this point? Yeah. Like, I mean, they're so prominent. They've been around. For so many years now they've got so because many honestly, ways it would to... probably be a lot easier to control us if it was the real lizard people would be like oh yeah, damn seriously, I like, we I... like all hail kodos you know what i'm saying how many people <laughs> are scared of snakes they're moving pretty slow if they're on uh -huh. a on uh -huh. a pace to take over the planet uh -huh. like i said they said the lizard population to be sustained for that long yeah, we, i mean we post this and they reveal themselves <laughs> also if if the lizard population was running the earth like wouldn't they be pro global warming because they like that heat, and all of them are trying to stop global warming. So I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. Well, and this all this all works on the assumption all that. Well, oh, I was not just, all of them. Yeah. All of the these ones. <laughs> well, and again, we're, we're this also uh, this is also difficult because we're talking about we're talking about two different terms to mean the same thing. We're talking about aliens, which we have, as we've discussed, some very particular. Uh, imagery of based mm -hmm. on all of these mm -hmm. reported encounters and sightings and they're not lizard people yeah M more more often than not that's not the way that they're portrayed all our lizard people stuff looks like it's from D, &D you know and, like and it's, it's all fantasy time, and at the same time we're using a terminology that relates to earth based uh uh classification of of of, of animals right like they uh, came from earth yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. the rep the, and, and what we call a reptile or a lizard has, mm -hmm. you know, right? They has these certain properties and blah 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 blah, mm -hmm. and they so they that. lose their skin and da, 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 you know, right? Okay, so uh, they we, why aren't these? If they're lizards, then they're lizards. If they're aliens, then they're aliens. They can't well, fucking like, be both because right. that's not the same thing. But sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you. Um, I I have a question. Wasn't the uh, wasn't the theory that they said it was like. So how man we we evolved from apes, but they were just on another planet or another dimension that there were lizards did the same had the same like evolution path as apes and and to men. So I I think that I I don't apes to men that's yeah. a good voice to men album. Apes to men, lizard to men. Lizard. Yeah, and again, even if that's true, then we're assuming that the way life evolved here. Is the way it evolves everywhere else. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which is just it was just <laughs> arrogance and hubris on our part. I'm not I don't believe this. I'm just saying that yeah, no, no, no. that was one of the arguments in the video or one of the prompts, whatever you want to yeah, yeah, yeah. Things, How'd they get to our dimension? Thing. Fucking they, that's, that's well, not, this is and, and this is a whole yeah, episode. and this is a whole other thing. And and there's a, I got a series of books here by this guy named Zechariah Stitchin, and he's the dude. He's a I, I was telling one long about him earlier. He's a dude who uh, wrote a whole series of books, half a dozen books at least, uh, that starts with. And the first book is called The Twelfth Planet, and this is where all this Anunnaki business comes from, and the idea that there was this plant, you know that. He, let me pause for a second. This guy wrote these books. He is a ancient language scholar. Okay, that's where he, that's his perspective. Is he's Sumerian, Babylonian, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. you know, ancient languages and translations. The Conan languages. Yeah, exactly. That's where this guy. That's where this guy is coming from. And and his idea, his concept, reads very uh, academically for the first fifty pages of his book. And that's that we've been mistranslating these stories that the Bible was based on that are actually these ancient Sumerian Babylonian stories. And if we properly translate these stories, we get a totally different story. And that story is that there was this 12th planet and it came into our, into our solar system. And on that 12th planet were these aliens and the aliens came down to earth and they, they're the ones that gave us the, you know, uh, the pyramids and the, you know, blah, 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 the stargate and blah, blah, blah. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and that's where all of that, you know whether you want to get into the concept of the, their DNA making us smart, uh, or or whether it's technology information or whatever. It, again, it all comes back to this one dude and his set of books that all of these other hundreds of people have now espoused. So uh, 
there's not a whole lot that we need to continue discussing. I don't think about this, this topic. I'm going to go back once more time around the horn and, and see if everybody, if anybody has anything more they'd like to add to their, uh, uh, their, their soliloquy, their thumbs their down. Their, yeah. Their thumbs down to this, uh, uh, concept. Uh, let's, let's go back and throw it back one more time to one lung. It has, has, is there any slice of now again we are talking about this as a totality so you're in order to believe in this you got to believe in shape shifting which we haven't really talked about that at all just the concept that, that shape shifting is something that can be done yeah don't get that, me started about shape shifting yeah, but we're talking that, yeah. that they are only shape shifting to lizard people come on yeah yeah this isn't like v where they wear makeup or, or uh, put the fucking you know, mask or, on yeah uh, yeah yeah a mask or whatever borat shape shifting jews yeah what's well, <laughs> <laughs> movie. We're naming movies with shapeshifters. There you go. Um, it, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. So you got to believe in shapeshifting. You got to believe in aliens that are lizards, and you got to believe in they're walking among us and potentially controlling uh, uh, what what goes on behind the scenes of world governments. Uh, what's your final one lung? What's your final answer? Uh, so on uh, number one, no. Number two, no. Number three, I don't believe they're lizard people, but I do believe the Illuminati. So that's a that's a that's partial another episode. point. That's another. Episode. But that is definitely a fail on most regards there. So I'm a I'm a hard no on this one. So we 100 percent need to revisit the Illuminati in a future episode, which undoubtedly yes. we will be doing. Okay. Yes, yeah, yeah, so I think that. that there's a lot to dig into the, there. That the, the, that group of people are lizards. Yeah, I do not believe they're lizards. And I think there's some great theories about who those people actually are, and it'll be really fun to do an episode specifically about about that. Okay, hey, Andy. That one. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Well, we'll, we'll and we'll have. I think we'll have. I'll have some varying views on that one. Andy, shape shifting one. Where are you at? Of course. You're you're in for shape shifting being a possibility. Well, if we're doing talking about shape, that's a whole other episode though. Shape shifters yeah, is a whole other yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that, but not the shape shifting wizards specifically. About the government hiding superheroes from us. Say what you will about me being in the middle of a Marvel timeline thing, but I, there's some experimenting going on, and we're gonna get to the Somebody's bottom. jacked up. Yeah. No, I'm 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 out on this. There was one thing that we didn't bring up that I think was a little compelling and made me think a little bit, and it was one of the theories that, um these the the babylonian brotherhood or the anunnaki or whoever was relaying this message to uh dan ike that or da not dan david ike um th that said okay basically something it was they were saying like say some shit but say some real say some true shit but say some real crazy shit at the same time so it made uh, made you just sound fucking insane, but then it would really be right there. So let's, I absolutely, I think there's people controlling the government. Let's add the fucking lizard shit in there, so people will be like, okay, this dude's fucking insane. Obviously, not everybody is. Like we said, there's 12 million people. Uh, I don't know if that was just in America or around the world that believe in the lizard people. Uh, me personally, I don't. Yeah, I'm. I'm out on lizard people. I'm in on aliens. I'm in on the Illuminati. I'm in on the the fucking rich people of the world controlling the fucking world. I absolutely believe that's happening. But I just, I cannot say with a straight face that I believe that that they could just fucking pull their faces off and they're just fucking lizards, dude. Like mm -hmm. as yeah. much as I yeah. love superhero movies and fucking killing the bad guys, and we've seen this. Brian said it. It's not just in Marvel. It's it's been it was written by these two dudes in the books. Coincidentally, like five to ten years later, there's dudes spouting off these fucking theories about how this shit's real. Mm -hmm. People yeah. are fans of this shit. If you get to believe, like you get to love a, a movie or something enough, there's a certain extent that you're gonna believe like uh, it's out there, it's real. And don't get me wrong, I believe there are aliens, and I. I don't know what a fucking alien looks like. We've talked about that on this podcast before. Possibly looks like Bigfoot. Possibly. I mean, Bigfoot is an alien, as we've confirmed mm -hmm. on, this, on this pod. By the way, shout out to my buddy Trey Smith. He's been binging this podcast uh, and texting me like almost every morning shit from like every episode. Um, <laughs> Love but, it. 
he go he he texts me he goes dude you really were possessed in that frat basement dude i can't believe you brought that up on that <laughs> <laughs> and, um, anyway Mr. <laughs> people are i i just can't believe it uh i think it's a really fun theory it's one of the most popular government conspiracy theories ever but you know apparently obama the clintons the bushes uh fucking any random superstar all lizard people yes are all all lizard people the the kennedys and and all of them too but yeah i'm out on it i I think we're all going to be unanimous on this one um but i mean show me I, i i i didn't watch every video you sent um but from what i did i think i got the real gist of what we need here but there was nothing compelling enough to convince me that this is true yeah i'm i think brian Anything to add to that for your final wrap-up? Oh, man. I mean, I I would believe anything Dan Housen said over anything that David Icke said. You know, <laughs> like, and that guy is, you know, very good, very evil. And I would believe everything he said over that other dude about lizard people. Even though I think Dan Housen would have some good thoughts on lizard people, I think he would also be out. Um, but uh, I just... Man, just like I said, all these... The Illuminati, like I said, all these politicians and everything are, you know, lizard, lizard people, pedophiles that drink the blood of babies and stuff. And it's just like, I mean, we're just stacking on stacks here, as usual. Um, and it's just, I, I, uh, what was this last note I made here that was like, not in English? <laughs> yeah, it must not have been that important. You've just been fucking those people the whole time. I know, uh, you know, I just think it's that there's, there's, just the concept of even what, a, like, we're still putting a, a human a construct on top of something that we think that these people would be like a lizard because that's the only frame of reference we have for a reptile that people can, like, easily understand. Mm-hmm. Even dinosaurs were always thunder lizards and that kind of stuff. Is, is, you know, it's always been a thing where we had lizard people all through time. So, <clears throat> eh, eh, no, no. Illuminati, we have much to discuss. Even shapeshifters, I feel like there's some validity in there. Aliens, oh, you know the vibes. I could be convinced you know. of almost anything. We'll just, but um, uh, one but thing, just, uh, Native man. Americans have believed in shape shifting for a long time. So, yeah, yeah. You know. but they they weren't. They maybe been turned into a lizard, but we're talking real lizard to like roll around because that was the whole spirit journey, but not like a uh, werewolf, not like lizard people. Werewolf. Just, just, guys, we're getting off. We're going in far afield. We're going far afield. We're getting into actual like worthy <laughs> topics of discussion, and this is not it. So I would say no lizard people. Like I just nah, I just don't believe eighty six lizard people. Eighty six, we're out. We're out. Yeah. That, well, I, I think it has something to do with fear of just snakes and like reptiles and shit. Yes, too, as a general thing, like people are just scared of them in general. I mean. We we said it earlier. Yeah. What the fuck would you do if one of them knocked on your door? I'd be like, oh, all right, guess we're just I just do whatever you say now. So, yeah, yeah if they were pig people, it wouldn't be the, the same thing. Uh, there's people <laughs> out there believing pig people too. Right? I mean, it's just there's stupids <laughs> out there, yo. It's just give me. Man, there's so boy. many people on the planet, you know, and some of these things are used to scare people, especially in your third world. There's lizard people come get you. I mean, it's just it's out there. So it meh. Yeah. But I don't think, like I said, there's vampire people. There's lots of assorted animal bric-a-brac. I just don't think that lizards is uh, where it's at. And Well, discussion. we officially have our first unanimous episode. Unanimous! Yay! Throw up uh, the dubs we, for the it, it, it only took eight episodes, and we finally have one that is so preposterous that not one of us could go mm-hmm. in whole mm-hmm. hog. It is over uh, the edge. Not even if, half hog. It is, this one is definitely way over the edge. Uh, all- once again, we would love to hear from you about this and any of the other episodes that we have uh, posted. The phone number there, 917-979-6071. You can leave a voicemail there and uh, tell us your story. Uh, we would love to include it in the podcast, um, but we'd love to just hear your comments, yeah, negative or positive. Um, you can go to our website. About any episode. Edgy- about any episode. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Any any stuff. topics. If you want to talk to us about ghosts, any of the old stuff, go back and talk about it all. Come, come or, through. 
or something that we haven't covered that you think yeah. we should cover. We would we love suggestions for topics. Um, please visit edgingthetruth.com for links to all of our social media sites. You can find us on uh, not just YouTube here where you may be watching this um, or any of the many podcast uh, listening places like uh, Spotify. Um, but our we have we do have a Discord, and we, you can find the link for that there, as well as in the description to this video below. If you're watching this on YouTube, um, we are just having such a blast with this with this podcast, and we would love to hear from you as much as possible. As you can tell, we we are all getting some individual uh, personal feedback from people that we're sharing this with. But we would love uh, we would love to include your feedback more and more in this in this episode in these episodes. So so be sure to. Uh, you know, like, subscribe, follow, call that voicemail number, post some comments, tell us if we're idiots because we don't believe in lizard people or, 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 or convince us, whatever you feel like. Uh, we've got the Super Bowl happening tomorrow. Uh, we were taught where maybe we'll get into some uh, football, uh, sports league conspiracy theories in the future. Uh, we've also, uh, we've got... We've got I we've got a, a special episode coming for uh, St. Patrick's Day in a month. We're going to be doing an episode on leprechauns, uh, which should more also be another fun one. More believable than lizard people. More I believable think so. than lizard people. Way I'm with more. you there. I'm with you there. Um, oh no, we lost Andy's audio totally. So that's a perfect time to wrap it up. No, well, I was muted. I was muted. Oh, I was oh, muted. Oh. <laughs> I was muted. Uh, but Mr. Shenanigan, of course you fucking believe in uh, leprechauns. Uh, <laughs> Um, We're gonna have to have the shenanigan drinking song in the uh, as a we'll bonus a for the off, Leprechaun we'll episode, by the way. And we will drink on that episode. Yeah, NFL, yes. uh, NFL rigged. I'm all in on that. My, I'll bring my evidence. Will be all of my lost bets to the table. <laughs> yeah, oh, I can't. I, I can't wait. <laughs> for all that your one. tickets that you ripped and say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe exactly. that you can use that as a tax write off. <laughs> they get it for a business. If you're using it for business. I love it. I love it. Well, on behalf of One Lung, Brian, and Andy, I'm Dave. This has been episode eight of Edging the Truth. We will see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Shenanigan. Visit edgingthetruth.com for more information and links to all our social media and podcast directories.